It's time. It's fucking time. I've been begging. I've been begging for fucking the whole year, pretty much, since January. Been begging you. I even took a month off. You remember that? When I left YouTube for a month? It's time. But I can't do it by myself. I can't. So, I don't know if you've looked around lately. I don't know if you've noticed. But there's fucking a wave of massive censorship, the likes of which I don't think I've seen since the beginning of the fucking internet. I, I Explain it to me, how you can rationalize this, whether you're a lefty or a righty. How do you rationalize censoring the President of the United States on nearly every social media platform and on the fucking mainstream media platforms, including Fox News, by the way. We saw it. We saw it. They did it live. You know? The only one over there seems to be pissing the pool is Tucker Carlson, and I gotta say, I respect the motherfucker for doing it. He's like, I dare you to fire me. Because they know if they fire him, he's going to take his audience, of which he has a pretty big audience, with him to wherever he goes. Along with a golden parachute that's probably with his contract. And he came right out and pissed right in the pool of Fox News. Now, I don't all necessarily agree with everything Tucker Carlson says, but I respect the adherence to free speech. The you're not going to shut me up attitude. And that's what needs to happen. We need more and more people to not be so afraid. But that's not all that needs to happen. See, back in January when I took my one-month experiment to LBRY at the time, it is now Odyssey, is the video platform. LBRY is still there. It's all connected. Um, for those of you confused about that, LBRY is like the, you know, a, an email protocol you know, essentially, you know, it's not, it's a lot more complicated than that, but it's a protocol. It's, it's something that you could build apps on and they're decentralized. Nobody has control of it. If you were to take down odyssey.com within 24 hours, because all of the code's open source, you'd have another app. It'd be like playing whack-a-mole. Oh, we got to censor them. Oh, there's another app. Eh, oh, you know, and make no mistake, that battle's going to be caught once we catch the eyes of the, the most triggered censorship fucking tech giants. And uh, it will happen eventually. We'll, we're, this is the early days of the battle. Um, but in order for that battle to happen, back in January, I told you guys, okay, I'm going over here for a while. And I had some of you come along. And same thing for DLive. Um, some of you came along and... You know, but I got a ton of messages that were like, hey, I ain't doing that. I'm I'm YouTube. I'm on YouTube. You know, now YouTube's been schizophrenic. It's been shady uh, with its creators. We can see it. I, I just see a, a group of creators start. You know, they were doing fine before. And they started to complain about the same things I've complained about. You can go back in my old fucking videos where I was talking about this. It's the same thing. They turn off your fucking subs, your incoming subs, and then that doesn't offset the natural attrition that happens on a channel. They know they can do that. They know it's hard to spot if you're not looking, but a lot of people are like, I was growing, I was growing, then it stopped. And it usually stopped in conjunction with some video they made that pissed somebody off. And right now, I can't understand it. I can't explain it. Because I went from talking about health, which, you know, shut down growth for my channel for more than a year, to talking about the most, you know, things that other 
creators are being upset about and saying saying they're getting banned because of, I start talking about it thinking, okay, well, we might as well fucking hammer it in. We might as well go out in a blaze of glory. And I'm getting fucking about 100% increase in viewership. I gained 50 subs on top of the 50 that I lost. So probably that that's 100 subs I gained. And I'm, and I'm, you know, doing pretty good. You know, this is going to be the most money I've made on ad revenue in fucking three years. And I also want to take a moment to thank, because some of you heard me. You're, you're getting a video today because somebody contributed to me. You know, because the ad revenue, I was waiting. You know, and I told you I was going to do this waiting thing. You know, in order to produce the next video... I have to wait for ad revenue on the previous video, and in order to do that, I have to wait for the views to roll in. Um, and sometimes I, I'm waiting four days before I think I've at least got the bare minimum of $2 an hour for my time for making the video, and you know, which it's something. I can't just make videos for free when I don't no longer have the truck to fall back on. Um, I have to go work on other things if that's the case and, and build other skills. But, you know, some of you are, want me to keep talking and you want me to keep doing these videos. And, you're, and you keep, you know, you send me the, the you know, the messages and the emails and the, the comments and you say, keep doing what you're doing. You're helping. So, and by helping, it's just people want to know that there's, they're not alone, that, that they aren't fucking thinking because a lot of people are will tell you you're you're wrong i see it i see it here in new york more than ever this is very eye-opening coming back home after everyone's been locked down and abused by cuomo for so long i've never seen a so uh, uh, as much demoralization as i see here in new york state right now it is i can't believe it in some instances and people are just beating beaten into submission they're obeying without question. They're, you know, and I'm just like, yeah, look around you. Everybody I know with COVID's recovering. Some people have it and they don't even have fucking symptoms. They tested positive. They're locking down. They're doing the right thing. You know, but no symptoms. And this is, I don't know, you know, this... COVID's here to stay. But I'm not here to really talk about that. I'm here to talk about the censorship. The very fact that I mention that, I, every time I talk about these topics, in the back of my head, I'm just like, okay, was that it? Was that where the algorithm says fuck, fuck off? And it will. I run my mouth a lot of people. I say some things that people don't like. It's opinion. I'm not presenting myself as an authoritative source. Maybe that's why I'm not getting fucked with. I'm said, you know, I'm not saying all of this is fact. I want you to do your own homework. But how can you do your own homework if you stay on platforms that silence people that oppose mainstream views, which right now are pretty clear in one side of the political spectrum, but it extends to other things. We've seen it with health. We've seen it with keto. We've seen it with fasting. We've seen the attack that the media did on those things, and they won. They've convinced everybody. I guarantee you, if I did a keto video today, I'd get a fucking comment that says, uh, the, let's not talk about fad diets. I actually got one of those. And when I said I, when I made a video about why I don't do fucking keto videos, somebody commented, well, don't talk about fad diets. And how did they get that opinion? I, I don't know. It can't be because they listened to all the scientists and all of the fucking read all the papers and and watched all of the presentations that were sometimes boring to watch uh, on how the body works and all that. No. No, I saw the article. It's going to kill us. And, and who's writing those articles? They're silencing voices. They're ma manipulating you. Now, I want to take a moment to uh, let you know that I just posted a video here on Odyssey. Um, this is Odyssey right here that you're you're looking at, and it has grown exponentially since January when I first got onto LBRY. And you can still do LBRY, by the way, LBRY.tv, LBRY.com to download the desktop app. Uh, they recently got banned from the Play Store. They're fighting it, but it looks like they're the next thing you will see in the uh, 
Google Play Store will be Odyssey until that gets banned, probably. But for right now, if you're using your phone, you can just go to this in your web browser. Or if you're using iOS, you know, they're still talking about being able to release an app to iOS, but it'll probably be Odyssey. Um, they're working on it. They're also working on live streaming. And I, I can't wait till they get live streaming because then I'm good. You know, then I'm just like, you know, they still need a good on-ramp for the monetization, the LBC. It's a little complicated and convoluted, and the average normie isn't going to be able to jump on into Bitcoin and then trade for LBC, um, you know. But they're, they're working on the on-ramps, too. There's some, some legal hurdles to overcome with crypto. That They're doing the best they can, but they're based in Massachusetts, so, you know, that's why it's so difficult to get into that system. But... I'm seeing more and more of YouTubers I watch get fed up and endorse Odyssey, but that's not enough. Now, I made a fucking video, if we look at my channel here, I have 1,427 people. I'm starting to make some ground to where I may have more subscribers on Odyssey than I do here on YouTube. And I made a video right here, if you can see it, that I can't make on YouTube. I know I can't make on YouTube. Well, I can make it, but it's going to tank my channel if I do. They will, it will get the yellow icon for sure. And this video that I'm talking to you right now on is a high likelihood of the yellow icon. I'm doing this as a test. I want to see what I can talk about and what freedoms do I have left. You know, before they come for me. I don't know. I went out shooting. I'm learning to hunt, by the way. You know, I'm learning to hunt. That's why I'm out there. I want to learn how to clean an animal. I want to learn how to be self-sufficient. I can't imagine why. Clear. Clear. One, two. Nice. How'd I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of them are in. Nice. That's the best I've done all day. <laughs> but everything I was doing in that video was 100% legal, even in New York State. All right? Then we went to stop and, and, and buy ammunition for what we did there, and guess what? Sold out. And for the places that aren't sold out, they jacked their prices up substantially. Probably 300%. What, you know, this is the, the Democrat state. Who's buying all the fucking guns and ammo? You know, I'd be a little worried. I'm worried. You know, but yeah, I had to practice, you know, I don't want to go hunting and not be good at shooting. So that's what we were out there doing. And it was kind of fun, you know, I was seeing if I could hit the targets and, you know, it, you know, and it felt good. It felt like I'm doing something Cuomo doesn't like. It's illegal in New York, but it, I felt like somehow I was pissing in Cuomo's pool too. Um, but yeah, it just putting that little clip in here, I don't know what that means. I'm going to check the box. It probably means I got the yellow icon on this video, so feel free to leave a tip in the virtual tip jar if you're enjoying this video. Um, but I want to open your eyes. You see, how you fight censorship isn't to stay comfortably on the platform, and we're seeing this with Twitter right now. So, you know, because Twitter has been so heavy-handed with their fucking censorship... There's been a mass exodus from Twitter and Facebook, too, by the way. And where is everyone going? I brought a few, a uh, friend of mine that got banned, on, you know, a three-day ban on fucking Facebook for talking about politics. Well, they're all coming here. You know? 
four, it went from 500,000, this is a while ago too, it might even be more by now, but there was a mass exit. I had trouble signing up because they were bogged down. They've since corrected that. As far as I can tell, I'm having no problems posting and doing all that, but it is a brand new, well, it's not, it's been around a year, but they, they weren't expecting the level of attention they're getting right now. Why are they getting that attention? Because people are, want to go somewhere where there isn't little fucking warnings on everything, where you might not be hearing from your favorite creator because they got their video banned or demonetized, or maybe they have to, you know, they can't make content anymore because they have to go get a full-time job to make up for the income that's being taken away from them and they're being starved out all because of their opinion not because they're presenting facts yet we look at mainstream media and all they're giving you is opinion they're not reporting facts and if you don't believe it turn on cnn right now i don't even have to look to see what it is i bet you if you were to fact check what they are saying, and I do mean fact check, not just go look at the fact check websites and say, oh, all that fact check. No, go and look at the evidence that's out there, and you're not going to find it with a Google search. You're going to have to go to DuckDuckGo for that. But yes, I am on Parler. You know, I announced it to the people on my email list, and a bunch of you showed up. Thank you. Um, it's I'm active on there. Do I trust that Parler won't fuck up and go down the path of darkness like Twitter did? I don't know. It could just be a right-leaning fucking echo chamber. But it's only going to be that way if people with opposing viewpoints just want to stay in their own little bubble and smell each other's farts. And say, wow, mm, that smells good. What'd you eat for fucking dinner? Ribeye? Oh yeah, it smells great. Or I should say, you know, a salad. You know vegans. Anyways, I'm on Parler, but it doesn't work if you just stay on Twitter. It doesn't work if you just stay on YouTube and Facebook. You have to help us. We, we're, you know, we're fighting best we can. Did I just have a nip slip? We're fighting best we can, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're fighting the best we can. But we can't do it by ourselves. I mean, I can go shout fucking in this big chasm that is alternative media. And if nobody goes there and watches shit, we're in an empty room. And, you know, and then YouTube wins and you allow it to go on. If you're fed up with censorship as a viewer, you have to diversify. You can't just... Now, I'm not saying leave YouTube. There are some creators that are safe on here and they're doing good. And I encourage you to watch and support those creators. But you can't just let the little fucking feed spoon feed you what to watch. Open your web browser and go to these other platforms. I think BitChute has an app, too. Somebody told me I should put, go on BitChute just because the viewing experience is a little easier on them. Right now, Odyssey doesn't have an app, but it's coming soon. So, and I'm probably going to come to, I'm already on BitChute. I've been on BitChute for a long time, but I just haven't put a video on since like December 30th, uh, 2019. Back when I was bitching about fucking censorship and taking a break from YouTube. And, you know, look at that. They got the truck driver YouTube censorship and big pharma. You know, I mean, I haven't put a video on in a while, but it's on my list of shit to do real soon. Um, I just, I, you know, I ha was having trouble uploading. That's the biggest reason why I didn't post to, to BitChute. I would spend two hours trying to upload something and then it wouldn't fucking show up. And, and you know, I'm going to test it in the coming weeks. Not yet. And, uh, but yeah. And I also don't like the monetization scheme on here. It's essentially what I already have been doing. And it's send you to my PayPal or my fucking website, uh, to, if you want to support your creators on there, not to mention the platform itself needs help. They've got, you know, fundraising. This is a UK based platform and they've already been fucked with. They've already been almost deplatformed. They had, uh, their monetization schemes have been fucked with and the infrastructure that their network was built on was recently fucked with because of the election. So there's that. You know, it was a short outage, but they know it was because one of their providers said, nope, you know, uh, 
With LBRY, that can't really happen because of the protocol. They can take down odyssey.com, but all of the shit will still be on the blockchain, and all someone needs to do is make a new app, which would probably take 20 minutes, change some fucking icons and some uh, names, and bring, get a new domain, and lo and behold, bam, you got another one. Um, with all the content that was there to begin with because it's floating around on the blockchain. And if you're using the LBRY desktop app, you can't be censored on there. Or you could fork and make your own app, you know, if you're technically inclined. BitChute uses WebTorrent. So people that are watching videos are also seeding it while they're watching it to other people, plus they have a little server that gets you started. Um, you know, and that's kind of how BitTorrent has always worked. Uh, but it's completely transparent. You don't know you're fucking with, uh, Torrent technology on here. So, I'm on there. I'm not there yet, so if you, you know, if you're, if you're already on BitChute, subscribe there. I'll let you know, either on Odyssey or here, depending on where I survive. Um, I'll let you know where to go, you know, from, from then on in. You know, so also live streaming. I've reconsidered. Somebody left me uh, lemons on here. So I'm, I've got, I haven't fucking gone live on D Live the entire fucking pandemic for the most part. I tried at one point to do a karaoke stream and it failed and I kind of gave up. Um, but I'm seeing some YouTubers that are heading here for their live streaming needs. Now, I am going to say that this would be a temporary solution for me unless it takes off. If you guys don't show up for streams on here, I'm not going to stream on DLive. Um, I will notify you via the email list. Um, and it's real easy to, you know, I've never had a problem cashing out on here as far as donations go. And I love the stickers. I've, you know, there's nothing quite like it in any of the streaming platforms. Um... But you can come here. I do. I am going to be doing a test stream here next week. Uh, once I get my graphics done for the new podcast, and maybe I'll do the podcast live on here and post it. And that way, I can have Surprise, that way I can have that live participation uh, element for the podcast. So, if you're not following me on D Live, that's my plan there. Twitch. I'm still going to do some laid back music, you know, not talking about anything controversial, nothing to see here, Amazon, you know, streams. Uh, so you can follow me on Twitch too. I didn't pull it up, but it's Scott the Truck Driver on Twitch. So, but diversify, you know, you're not seeing anything good in your feed to watch on YouTube. Open up BitChute, open up Odyssey, open up DLive, open up fucking all of these, you, these only work, you know? If you're fed up with Twitter and, and Facebook, invite a bunch of your friends to go over to Parler. You're only going to get probably the right leaning or the fed up of censorship people to fucking go over there right now. But if the censorship continues, it's only a matter of time before that swings and hits somebody that's on the left. And then they'll be over there. Or they'll come over just to be hateful and, and assholes to people that are on Parler. Uh, some big names are on Parler, you know. And it's probably up to 5 million active users. Don't quote me on that. I didn't look it up. But it's up there. It is. There's a lot of eyeballs leaving Twitter and going to Parler right now. But I don't want to see the same thing happen only on the other side of the fucking aisle on, on Parler. I just want a fucking social media platform that I can post my opinions, post any memes I want. And, uh, you know, that I, I don't have to worry about getting flagged or having a big window pop over it. And I can also share my videos on and people will get notified of them that way. That's my another plan for that platform. So you'll be seeing links to like Odyssey. You'll be seeing links to wherever I'm doing something. If I'm going to do a live stream, I'll put it on there. However, still sub the first people I the first thing I do after I get posted on a platform outside of YouTube or, or I'm going to do a live stream is I notify my email list. You guys get notifications first. Sometimes I might even accidentally forget to update Parler. So 
subscribe to my free email list if you want to be notified of when I post content. And some of you have been doing that, and, and thank you. Um, you know, that group just got a whole video last night where I'm just now telling you about the exclusive content that I just posted on Odyssey. Um, but it, it takes all of us, people. Do the best you can to fight censorship because when you marginalize somebody that whose opinion you don't agree with, then you split, you divide. If you want reconciliation, we have to be able to argue with each other and, and talk. And I want reconciliation. I don't hate the left. I, a lot of people I don't even blame for their opinions. It's hard for them to not have that opinion when all the mainstream media is giving you the same propaganda at the same fucking time. I can't, you know, how do I convince people that it's fucking, they're lying to you outright? How do I fucking do that? At what point do people be like, eh, okay, this isn't normal. What's going on with the censorship? It's not normal. And we need to fight it. And the way you fight big tech is by supporting independent platforms, which are vulnerable to similar shit. But right now, they know. They know that they need to offer us a free speech plat alternative. And we may get there, and it may get big enough that people are like, oh, we got to start censoring here now. And then we just continue to move. You can't stick in one place. You have to diversify. And this as a content creator is very important right now. If you're just posting to YouTube and they come and they smack you, and we're seeing this with a lot of creators right now, and they come and they smack you down, they take away your livelihood, you put all your eggs in the YouTube basket, then you're vulnerable. You, they can just wipe you out. And then you'll have nowhere to run because you didn't tell people right away where else they can find you. You know, I've got a website. If you don't have a website, and, I, and you know, I also post things outside of YouTube that you can only see there because if you don't do that, people will not go there. They will go to the path of least resistance, and that is YouTube. YouTube is well established. I have nothing to complain about in terms of infrastructure for YouTube. I just hate the algorithm. Take the algorithm out, and we're fine. Because I, you have lots of convenient, you can screencast, you can watch on your phone, you can fucking do all of this shit. Well, you're going to have to give up some of that comfort for freedom. Imagine that. It's kind of like a, a theme, isn't it? You have to take some risks. That you might see something you don't like, by the way. Because there are people that have, were banned long ago and they're still screaming loud and clear. And I also don't like the hypocrisy, you know, they ban Alex Jones on fucking YouTube, but I've seen him twice now. I've seen him on fucking Joe Rogan and I've seen him on Tim Pool last night. And that, you know, that was great last night watching Alex Jones on Tim Pool. Tim Pool was so uncomfortable, so uncomfortable. And I don't know why, but I was heavily amused by that. You know, I watched Tim Pool. I've been a fan, but I, I can see some things. There's a lot I don't agree with on Tim Pool right now. You know, he's... I think he's drinking a little too much mainstream media Kool-Aid, relying on NewsGuard a little too much. Um, the only true way to independently verify something isn't with a Google search, by the way. You know, you're going to need... If you're going to do journalism which I don't think he's professing to do. He's, he's a commentator. But if you want to put something out as fact, because you Google, that's not how you do it. you got to fucking have an eyeball on the ground. And I mentioned this in, in my, my Odyssey video, but right now I'm finding NTD News and Epic Times, which may have biases of their own, but they're not telling me what to think. They're just saying, well, this is it. That doesn't mean they aren't like leaving out something or doing something. They, they're just telling me what's happening, which is what I want. I'll come up with the opinions, motherfucker. I'll come on here and share them. But don't tell me what to think. And if you're watching mainstream media and they're projecting opinions, and sometimes they're subtle about it, but it's, it's there. You can spot it. 
least I can, you know, they're telling you what to think. They're telling you what's real and what isn't. With no verification. A lot of them are just fucking playing the telephone game with some company that broke the story. Without even fact-checking them. I've seen it. I've seen it in action. One news company throws out a fucking puff piece or a a hit piece, and then the next thing you know, the entire fucking left-leaning media run by six companies is posting the same shit. And now you got Susan posting fucking shit under people's videos saying, hey, well, that's it. And not to mention stamping down independent creators and and, and boosting mainstream media content. You know, enough is enough, people. If you're fed up with this, here's here we're at a crossroads right now. Now is the opportunity to diversify your consumption of media. And if you really want to to get a good picture of what's going on, you have to hear both sides. You can't just plug your ears and then shout down anybody that says the contrary. You got to listen. You don't have to agree, but you should at least listen to know that those other thoughts are out there. Sometimes that's all people need, by the way. They just don't want to be part of the, you know, they want to be safe in the crowd. What are the majority of people are fucking saying? We're going to go with that. A lot of people are like that, you know. If the majority of people agree or disagree with something, they just want to be on the winning side. Why? Because it's safe there, and people want to be safe. But what the fuck do I know? I'm not an expert. I'm just a fucking asshole. Please, like and subscribe for more shit. And I'll make more shit. If you like this fucking video, and you want me to make more fucking videos, and you want me to spend all my time making videos, please head to scotttruckdriver.com, leave a tip in the virtual tip jar, and uh, that'll enable me to continue to do this on a more full-time-ish basis. Um, You guys have been doing that, and I'm trying to live up to it, you know. I just, Steve just called, and I I fucking, like, I'm in the middle of a video, you know. So, um, but yeah, that's what we got to do, people. And it is what it is. It's not fun. A lot of these platforms are still buggy or have issues, including Odyssey. Um, But they're getting better every day, and they're getting more people every day. So give them a chance. Um, I'll let you know through my email list when I decide to do some experiments with BitChute and DLive. Um, I will still stream here on YouTube for the time being. I will still stand up uh, memberships at some point on here. But when they demonetize the channel, all of that goes away. Keep that in mind. Super Chats go away, so does membership. So um, I, while I will do that for your viewing convenience on here, I can't post everything I say on here or, and do. So keep that in mind. Anyways, that's it. I think uh, I'm going to take a few days off this weekend. I've been triggered too long. I need to to wind down a bit. Um, But enjoy this video. I might do a live laid back stream. Maybe I'll go on Twitch. I don't know. Um, And and fuck around a little bit. But I do got to get my graphics done. Actually, I think most of what I'm going to do this weekend is admin for the the podcast that I want to stand up next week. So I'll be working on that. Thanks for your continued support. Thanks for joining me in this journey of, uh, you know, leaving corporate America and doing independent content creation and trying to survive the most locked down state in the country. I don't know. It's a contest between California and New York at this point. Um, but yeah, I will still travel. I will still do Prius stints in the Prius. So if that's the kind of content you're looking for, I'll still go on my walks in the woods. I will still travel. Even though Cuomo don't want me to, I am going to need to escape from time to time and do these things. And I'm going to take you all with me, you know, so that's part of the thing, too. So if you're just a new subscriber and you like this commentary um, and I post something like an adventure video or just a vlog or something personal about me, uh, you don't have to watch that if you don't want to. It's part of the. It's part of my journey. If you if you look back through my videos, it, I've become a variety of content creator. A lot of you have said, "Hey, we never know what we're gonna get." Well, this is my channel. Um, 
and, and this is what I'm going to do on YouTube. And I'm trying to be safer on YouTube and put the more controversial shit on Odyssey right now. Um, and for live streams, I really pushed the limit with that the, the last live stream, which was yellow iconed and cut off, by the way. Um, so, yeah, that's it. We gotta, we gotta fight back, people. And the way you get these corporations to stop censoring is when they see a mass exodus. Let them know. There are alternatives, people. They're out there. there it, a lot of people don't want to go back to YouTube circa fucking 2002 or whatever. Or 3, 2004, that time frame. Back when we had stars. Those are instead of likes. It's great. Have a nice motherfucking day. And shit. And one more thing. Fuck Cuomo. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fucking piece of fucking...